Okay, so we got Wade Ormsby here um, from a down the line perspective. This is the first hole in Valderrama where he's playing the European Tour event. So I'm gonna show, sort of point out three things that I like about Wade Ormsby's golf swing that may help yours. Okay, so the first thing that we notice is he's got a nice hip hinge in his posture. Okay, so he's hinging nicely from his hips. Okay, which is giving him some really nice angles at address. Okay, one of the things I like to do if I'm looking at golf posture is draw a line just from the back of the shoulders straight down to the ground. And you'll notice here that line just going nice and just the, sort of to the balls of his feet. So everything's nice and balanced. Okay, something that I'll see a lot is a little bit too much hip hinge, so it'll be hinged over too much. Okay, or sometimes we'd be too standing too tall, all right? Sometimes that can get the weight too far into the heels, which is gonna have an effect on the rest of the swing. So number one is getting to this lovely athletic posture. Second thing I wanna look at here is when we take Wade Ormsey's swing back, just to the takeaway. Here, you're gonna notice where his club face is. Okay, so you'll notice his club face there is parallel pretty much to his spine angle okay so the club face is still sort of looking down near where the ball and it's just outside the hands okay something as well that i see a lot in the lessons is where the club face would open too much okay which is going to cause a lot of compensations to be made throughout the rest of the swing okay so the second thing there i really like is how he's taking the club away club just outside his hands and at that point of the swing, the club is parallel to a spine angle. Really, really nice. And the third thing, we'll take him to the top now, is to notice how he's coiling and winding his body up. So you'll see his left shoulder there, if I was to draw a line on his shoulder plane, you know, it's pointing just to a point just outside the ball. Okay, so if we were to take him back to a dress, draw a line on a spine angle, and draw, it's almost making a T there, so when he turns back, you'll see his shoulders are turning on a lovely angle, perpendicular to his spine angle. Okay, so that's really setting him up to a nice loaded position at the top of the swing, where he can then just unleash all that power straight back into the ball. Okay, so there's three things. One of them, or all of them, might help. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.